So these ants, it's a little bit different. So they're gonna be zombie-like uh, shortly after they get infected. So um, the spores get attached to the body and they have a way, some kind of enzymes and just mechanical pressure that get into the, the exoskeleton, the hard armor they have. They get in and then they start growing. So at that point, they're becoming zombie-like. So within a few hours, maybe a day, the ant will um, begin to behave abnormally. And it turns out they've been mapping the genetics um, of that fungus against those species of arthropod. So often it's this fungus with this particular arthropod. It's species species specific. And what that means is that the fungus has evolved or developed very specifically to deal with this particular chemistry of this organism. Or what you can draw from that is those fungi are so specialized, they cannot, as they are, get into mammalian systems. So they're not gonna be able to deal with vertebrates because air chemistry is very, very different. That's not gonna happen with this particular um, fungi, okay? It's just, there's too many differences and they're too specialized. However, there are fungi that we have problems with, right? There's diseases that are fungus like athlete's foot and yeast infections, right? Uh, thr thrush and stuff like that that we can get. And some of those can be pretty bad too but they don't turn us into zombies. I will be a good biologist and say, you never know. Here, probably not likely. If we were gonna have a fungi that would do that to us, that kind of zombie, it would have to be a whole different fungus that maybe already gets into our tissues. Now, whether it would do that or not, I don't think so. I'm very skeptical of that.